Hi, welcome back to Live and Breathe Horses. Today we are going to talk about being clear. Clarity. <laughs> Clarity, Umo. So, um, it's something that comes up very often. Uh, and I was recently had the honour to be in Belgium teaching some students and horses, some old friends, some new ones. Um, that's such an honour um, and pleasure to be able to do that and, and be there live with people and, you know, be part of their journeys. I just love it. But this is, if there was one thing I could say that comes up over and over again, it's this. Clarity. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, it has to start. Well, I think the thing is, it starts because we want to be so kind and gentle with our horses and do everything right and be sensitive and understanding. Of course we do. So that can lead to us asking very nicely and gently, but then keeping asking nicely and gently. So we're not being clear. So it's much more kind to be clear, <laughs> you know? And if we have to be firmer, if saying, hey, come on, you know, we always offer a good deal, ask nicely first with our intention, our energy, then our hands and our, or our legs or whatever it is we're doing. But when that doesn't work, to step it up a bit and say, hey, I'm talking to you. And if still not, say, hey, come on, listen. And then reward when they do listen. So it's, is it not much kinder to be firm? <laughs> you know, they feel a fry, fly crawling on them. They feel an intention from another horse from 50 meters away. So it's not they don't feel it. It's just if we are vague and keep saying the same thing in the same way, they're just going to start ignoring us. So much kinder to be firm. And then when we have to be more firm, that we get in, boom, and get out as quick as we can. Make sure it's effective, take the feedback, make sure we get a reaction and have a huge open hearted yes when it does work, especially if we have to be firmer and being firm without getting hard. So this is a lifelong practice for me also <laughs> and really reflects through all areas of our lives I think you know how often are we a bit vague or a bit clear because we don't want to offend and isn't it much nicer when we can be clear and people are clear with us so uh, <laughs> I hope that's useful for you like I say it's something I'm always uh, aware of and working on so Starting with myself, of course, you know, how much do I believe myself? That, that's a good point. <laughs> has to start with there. When I ask my horse something, I have to believe it's going to work. Otherwise, how's he going to believe me? And that's about faith, isn't it? Believing in something without necessarily knowing it's going to work. But we have to have faith and believe if we're going to be kind. And then, like I said, step it up, take the feedback, is that enough? Do a bit more, add energy, add a bit of sparkle, do it in a different way, find how our horse is understanding us. And then a big open-hearted yes. So being clear, much kinder. And if we have to do more so that we can do less, is that not kinder than kind of nagging away? You know, especially with the legs and the horses walking along, people like tap, 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 every step to keep the horse going, which of course they feel a fly crawling on their side, don't they? So just being aware of all these little details, you know, that is horsemanship. Thousands of tiny little details, but everyone is worthwhile. So thank you for joining us today. I hope that was useful for you. Keep tuning into the light and I look forward to see you next time.